In this video you will learn the save save as and recover command and some of the options inside the program. To start with this go to open and from the training folder open architectural drawing one now for example I want to delete this car select and press delete from the keyboard and now you can simply press this save to replace the existing file and you can save as to keep the existing file unchanged and creating a to and create a new file so i'm going to press save as and i will say architectural drawing one and save again i am panning the drawing and now I can save the drawing by pressing this icon or pressing Ctrl S from the keyboard. Also AutoCAD has automatic save option. You can also also control that by going to option right OP enter and go to open and save icon and here is the option the automatic save which save the file automatically after 10 minutes but this may be disrupted during your working it will ask you to save uh, after 10 minutes so if you want you can check this one or you can uncheck this one and there is a also option create a backup copy or uh, with is save so when you save it creates a backup so I have this already checked and press apply and ok and go to the training folder and as you see there is a backup file so I have the backup option on and the uh, backup file is helpful when you have lost this file so you can change this extension to dot dwg to change this backup file to drawing file so you can use the backup file but it will take some additional space in your hard drive again go to option enter and you can uncheck this option and you can also uncheck this option and here I am also going to show you some setting of this option going to display you can change this crosshair size here and going to save and save as you can change this save as option as you are uh, working in 2016 but if you want to send this drawing to someone else and if he has the lower version of um, a lower version than 2016 then it will be problem to open this upper version file in his lower version um, program so you can change this one to some lower version so always you working with this program it will create the file under 207 or 204 whatever you select and if you send this drawing to uh, someone else he can open the file if he has uh, the version upper than this save as selection version and going to user option you can control here double click editing and the shortcut menu in drawing area so if you uncheck this one and apply ok then what you see delete this one and when you clicking right button it is not showing you any option it is just acting as a enter so you cannot go to uh, the right click uh, right uh, click option or the right button option if the option uh, if this shortcut menu in the drawing is unchecked so always you check this one and now go to drafting mode you can change the size of this auto snap marker and the aperture size and going to select um, selection you can also change this size and also the grip size too sometimes it may be helpful if it is bigger in size so you can change this one from here and by going to display and you can change the color scheme from dark to light and if you apply this one then press ok 
uh, the color of this area has been changed so you can use you can also change this color and you can also change the background color by going to by going to display and color and there are lots of color option here for 2d model space so you can see there are lots of color uh, option uniform background you can change color from here crosshair color you can change from here grid color you can change so you can change uh, color of different object within a drawing so you can if you think you need this you can also apply this change and then press apply okay in this way you can save or save as your drawing and you can also apply some option here there is another command which is called recover with which you can recover your drawing to do that type recover enter and from the studying folder select this drawing for recover and press open it will take some time to recover the drawing okay this is done and 32 errors found and error fixed 32 actually i don't know what was the error was but hopefully they are fixed now so you can try this command when you see some objects are missing in your from your drawing this may happen for any large type of project okay this way you can use this uh, recover command you can try this if you have any a missing object in your drawing and this may be fixed by the recover command this video i will discuss the system of unit in your drawing before you starting your drawing you need to fix or set the unit of your drawing to do that write un enter to go to the unit so this is my architectural drawing file and that's why the unit is set in architectural in architectural the unit is shown in inch and feet system so if you have if you have 18 inch dimension it will show 1 feet 6 inch and the default is inch here in decimal it has metric system of unit so if you want to show a unit in millimeter or centimeter so the system is decimal and in engineering you have only feet if you have 18 inch dimension it will show 1.5 feet so there is no inch in fractional it is only inch so if uh, if you have two feet it will show 24 inch so there is no feet here in scientific unit there is exponential symbol that could be uh, that can be used in any professionals and the unit contains a exponential symbol for architecture the uh, unit is uh, for the architectural drawing the unit is architectural and the precision is after one unit how much you want to count autocad has um, higher degree of precision but you need to use the precision so that human can read that i recommend you use one four or half inch of the precision and insertion scale is the default unit so when you have architectural unit and the insertion scale is inch when you put the value 1 feet 6 by default autocad count 6 as 6 inch because you have set the insertion scale as inch in case of decimal this should be millimeter or centimeters so when you press any value that will be counted as millimeter or centimeter and the, uh, there is also unit for the angle you can use decimal grade radian ctc and there is also precision and by default the angle is made uh, measured clockwise you can also change the direction from here so for horizontal the angle is zero for vertical the angle is 90 degree and there is also unit for light you can change the, that international american generic you can also change the direction of unit rather than anti-clockwise to clockwise by checking this box so in this way you can change your the unit in your drawing